Thanks for joining us for another installment of our After a Cesarean series. Joining us today is Carmen and her seven week old baby, Selena. Thanks for joining us. Carmen is almost seven weeks after a cesarean. Today we will be focusing on the exercises that you can do from four to six weeks after a cesarean. So moving the feet further apart, toes out, turned outward, inhaling deeply, exhale roll your shoulders back and down, inhale arms up and out toward the corners, and then exhale lower down as deep as is comfortable, inhale reach up, exhale lower down, we'll do just five of these wide leg squats, inhale reaching up, exhale lowering down, inhale reaching up, exhale lowering down, inhaling up and then lower the hands down to the sides, good. If you feel any discomfort with any of the exercises in the video, such as burning or pulling, especially in the area of the incision, stop that exercise and just wait for the next. Turning now toward the end of your mat, you can do this with your baby here with you or do it when your baby's asleep because at this point after a cesarean, you shouldn't really use your baby's weight as resistance to any of the exercises. We wait until six weeks post-op to do that. So standing with your feet parallel, hip width apart, inhale your arms out to the sides and up overhead, and exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. And then bend forward releasing your head and hands toward the floor for a forward bend. By four weeks post-op, most women find this comfortable. If you have any discomfort, again, stop and wait for the next exercise to come around. Using an inhale, lift to a straight spine, looking forward, squeezing your shoulder blades together, Exhale down, releasing to that forward bend. Three more of those, inhale up, exhale down. Two more. And last one. Good. So bend your knees a lot so you can place both hands down and step your feet back into the hands and knees position. As you inhale, lift your tailbone upward and your chin. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. Follow your breath. Four more. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Looking between your hands as you tuck your tailbone under. Good. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. And last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. And then coming to the neutral spine position, which is a flat back. Inhaling deeply here. As you exhale, you're going to take your right leg straight back behind you, reaching back with the leg. Inhale it back down to the mat, shifting your weight. Exhale, take that left leg back. Good. Inhale down. Exhale right. Inhale down, exhale left. If you feel any pulling in the area of the incision, inhale down. Try shortening the movement and not going up quite so high. Inhaling down, exhaling lift. Two more each side. Inhale down, exhale right. Straight leg, good. Inhale down, 
exhale left and last one exhale right inhale down shifting the weight I think we snuck in an extra one there good and down that was my fault so I made you do six it's all good for you now you can tuck your toes under lift your hips rolling your sit bones upward to a downward facing dog position breathing deeply just stay here for three deep breaths you can alternate bending one knee if you like so that the opposite heel can move closer to the floor or stay with both knees almost straight or even straight rolling your sit bones upward long spine good coming down back to hands and knees now let's make your way down to lying on your back lying here on your back with your knees bent feet flat on the floor inhale deeply here and when you exhale press your low back flat hold that pelvic tilt through a full breath also engaging a pelvic floor contraction on the inside for a Kegel contraction. Inhale, releasing that tilt. Exhale then, press flat again. Hold for a full breath. Excellent, and release on an inhale. We'll do three more of those pelvic tilts, exhaling to press flat. Drawing in for a Kegel contraction at the same time and holding through a full breath. So really activating the whole core and release. Two more. Exhale, press flat. Drawing inward and upward from the core. Full breath and then releasing on an inhale. Once more, exhale, press flat. Strong Kegel contraction, keeping that low back glued to the floor through the full breath. And release. Good, that pelvic tilt is the basis of all the following exercises. So we'll start by once again, activating that pelvic tilt inhaling deeply here so we'll start by activating the pelvic tilt inhaling deeply here and as you exhale slide your left heel out away from your bottom and when you inhale slide it back in keeping your low back glued to the floor pelvic tilt activated again exhale left out inhale back in stay on that left leg exhale out inhale in Two more, exhale out, inhale in, always pressing the low back flat, last one, out, inhale back in and release. Releasing that pelvic tilt for a full breath to relax the abdominal muscles. Pressing the low back flat again, we'll repeat on the right side, inhaling deeply here. Exhale, slide the foot out away from the seat, inhale back in. Exhale out, inhale in, exhale out, inhale bending that knee, two more, and last one, good, resting, releasing, releasing that pelvic tilt to really relax the abdominals, inhaling deeply here, Again, engage that pelvic tilt. This time, now take your left leg straight. Keep your low back flat in the floor. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, lower the left foot down toward the floor, not touching the floor. Inhale it back up to the height of the other knee. Exhale it down. Inhale it up. Keep your low back glued to the floor. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Two more. Exhale down. Inhale up, last one, down, inhale up, good. 
release. Resting for a full breath. And then press the low back flat. Take the right leg straight. Inhale deeply here. Exhale, lower that right heel down toward the floor. Inhale it back up. Exhale down. Keep it a shallow movement. At first, exhaling down, inhaling up to avoid any strain on the incision. Last one, exhale down, inhale up, and place the foot down, release that pelvic tilt. Good job. Rolling over to your left side. You can cradle your head in your hand. Bend your bottom leg and inhale deeply here. As you exhale, lift your straight leg up. We'll do five leg lifts. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale lift. Drawing your belly button in toward your spine. Two more. Exhale up, inhale down, last one up, and down. Good. Now bending that top leg, place your foot in front of you and use your hand to stabilize the ankle. Take your left leg or bottom leg straight, inhale deeply here, and as you exhale, lift that bottom leg up. Inhale, lower it back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Three more. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Last one, up, good, lowering down, good work. We'll move now back to hands and knees, down to sitting, and to the other side. So this time on your right side, if you're following us, with your Right or bottom leg bent, top leg straight, inhaling deeply here. And when you exhale, lift that left leg up, straight leg, inhale it back down, drawing that belly button in toward the spine. Exhale up, it can be a little or a lot, inhale down. Three more, exhaling up, inhaling down, keeping this motion in the comfortable range, exhale up. Inhale down, good. Last one, exhaling up and inhaling down, beautiful. Now bend the top leg, place that foot flat in front of you. Use your hand to stabilize the ankle. Taking your bottom leg back straight in line with your body. Inhale deeply here. And as you exhale, lift that straight leg up. Inhale it back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Two more, up and down. And last one, up and down. Good job. Coming now, pressing back up. We'll move now back to hands and knees. Walk your hands over to the right just a bit to make space for your left foot. You may need to use your hand to move the foot further forward and then sit back toward your heel as you take that left leg straight and release your head forward and down. Breathing deeply into this stretch. Coming forward to release the stretch and back to hands and knees. We'll do the wag your tail exercise now, which is after inhaling deeply here in hands and knees, look over your right shoulder and move your right shoulder toward your hip and the hip toward the shoulder. Looking back at your foot, Inhale back to the center, exhale to the left. <sighs> Inhale, look between the hands, 
exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Three more each side. Inhaling, center. Exhaling, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Good. Last set to the right and to the left, following your breath. Good work. Walk your hands and your knees all the way over to the left now. Move your right foot forward, using your hand to help it forward if you need to, and then sit back toward your heel, taking that right knee straight, releasing your chest forward and down, breathing deeply, strong stretch in the right hamstrings. Good, coming forward to release that stretch. Back to hands and knees. So coming now to sit. Cross-legged. Rolling your shoulders back and down. Sit with the long spine. Turn your focus inward to your breath. Breathing deeply. Concluding this after a cesarean series, four to six week class. There are more exercises you can do in this time frame that you'll find in a separate after a cesarean four to six weeks video. So if you feel up for it, feel free to move into it now. At this delicate time, listen to your body. Let it recover, but don't be afraid to do a little exercise. Thanks very much for joining us.